Well, fans are reacting after Nintendo has made a change to a classic character from Super Mario Brothers. Apparently, well, the old name is no longer appropriate. We had to make a woke change here. Fans are not happy about it. We'll dive in and discuss who it is in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you were able to help contribute to my ministry with a generous donation, a couple of ways you could do that. One, simply click the super thanks down below on this video here to make a one-time donation. You can also join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. I got to thank you guys. We hit our goal for the month of April of trying to get five new patrons, but hey, we got a couple days left in the month. Let's see if we can get a couple of more with Patreon. You get alerted for all of my videos. Very important. If you only rely on the YT notifications, I guarantee you're missing a ton of content, all right? They're not going to push them all out. So you got to get to my Patreon to stay up to date with everything. Also there, you can leave all your comments on the videos completely censorship free. You can send direct messages. And as a bonus, a lot of people asked me, they said, hey, can you do a video talking about how you went blind? How do you even operate your entire ministry without being able to see? Well, I answer all those questions and more. The video is getting good reaction. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So, you know, the Super Mario Brothers movie did really well. I mean, it probably exceeded expectations as far as what it's made at the box office. However, if you thought that Super Mario Brothers was going to be, you know, exempt from any sort of, you know, woke change, well, think again. Because Nintendo releasing a tweet to say that, you know what? we had to make a change here to one of the classic characters. Now, this goes back all the way to 1984. It was the classic uh, Mario Brothers Wrecking Crew game. And in the game was a character by the name of Blackie. Okay, now important to note here about this character. Blackie was a, uh, a white, muscular construction worker that had black facial hair, hence the name Blackie. Now, this character does appear in the new Super Mario Brothers movie. However, it's under a different name. And that change is now apparently going to be made now across the board uh, as it comes to, you know, all aspects of, you know, Blackie from in different, you know, the Western culture and in the Eastern culture, Japan, America, Europe, so on and so forth. Uh, this will now be the name going forward. They have changed the name to Spike, okay? Now, in the movie, the character is Foreman Spike, which is voiced by Sebastian Maniscalco. And they said that, well, this is the way that it has to be from now on in the tweet that Nintendo put out. And they tried to kind of do this in a way that was just kind of like, oh, thought that nobody would notice. But no, fans are reacting to this change and they are accusing Nintendo of bowing down to the Wolk culture saying that we really think people were going to, you know, care so much about a little bit about the name of Blackie. But of course, they're using the R word as it comes to this, saying that it's not appropriate, that that was, you know, a, a horrible decision that was made back in the 1980s to name a character like that. And so, well, we reflected on this. Now, those that are in favor of the name change have spoke out about this as well and kind of trolling back at those against the woke culture saying, you know, how is this going to hurt you? Is this really going to, you know, ruin your video game experience from over 30 years ago that, you know, one of the characters now has to have its name changed because it's more appropriate because it's more, it's more sensitive to the culture in the times of today. So there's this whole back and forth going on about it right now. Look, I've said this before, whether it's movies, video games, books, no matter what, I've said too, they're rewriting all these classic books even right now. And they're getting these so-called sensitivity, you know, readers that are there and, and making necessary changes that they believe are fit. Look, it's all part of a bigger picture here. Okay. That's to completely change society as we know it. This whole, you know, Marxist takeover, you know, revolution to, you know, rewrite history, to change words that the regime finds to be offensive. It's all tied in with Bible prophecy. I know a lot of times people won't think that. They're saying, oh, it's just a video game. What do you care? No, again, it's all part of a bigger picture that you're failing to see. 
And that's where we are going in this world, where we are heading, which we are heading towards a, a new world order, a one world ruler who will be the Antichrist that the Bible talks about in the book of Revelation. A world where Christianity is no longer welcome. In fact, it will not even be tolerated at all. I mean, it was just a couple of weeks ago that even in Israel, they were proposing a bill in Israel of all places that would make preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in Israel a crime. Now, is it a surprise that you would see something like that take place in Israel? Absolutely not. Israel, and I know I'm kind of going off a little bit here, but I believe this is important. This is very relevant to what we're talking about here. In Israel, they are going to do what? You know, at the time of the end, when the Antichrist is here, look, what are they going to be saying? Are they going to be embracing Jesus as the Messiah? Absolutely not. No, the Antichrist is going to be speaking that he is the Messiah. So the fact that they're trying to outlaw Christianity in Israel of all places is very telling of where we are right now and how close we are to the end. The question I have for you is, are you ready to meet the Lord? Have you submitted your life unto him? Are you ready to walk with him now in this, you know, ever present world where danger is at an all time high, where we are seeing the persecution of Christians like never before? I can tell you this, it's going to get a lot worse. It's going to get a lot worse. Now, I'm going to put more information on the Mario character change down below for those that would like to check that out. What I want to do right now, though, this is something that I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything going on. I do it because, again, we are in the final days, and Christ is coming soon. So for anybody watching right now, if you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. Hear me on this. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. Now that is something that we all are. The good news here is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you would humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You guys can go join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. You could also hit the super thanks down below on this video here to make a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.